Welcome to this another series lecture about electrical wiring simulator or EWS. Today we are going to perform the second activity for our pneumatic control system. Let's click this one. Okay, and then so this one is just an extension of the previous activity that we had. So we will be only adding a holding contact for this uh, activity. So let's click the play and then normal mode. Okay, let's uh, let's discuss first the operation of our uh, schematic diagram. So as what we can see here, this is quite similar to the previous activity that we had. However, uh, there is a holding contact here. Okay, we already explained the purpose of the holding contact. Okay, so this one is the holding contact. Of course, if we, we will be adding a holding contact, a stop button is necessary. And then we also added the source lamp, the PL1. Okay, and then we changed the PL2 for and PL3 for this particular activity. So now let's try to wire this one. So let's connect first this uh, pilot lamp number one, 24 volts to the pilot lamp number one, and then go back to the negative of our power supply. Okay. And then next, we have to connect the, okay, the 24 volts to the PB1, the normally closed PB1, and then PB2, and then R1. Okay, so 24 volts to the PB1, PB1 to PB2, and then PB2 to 13, and then 14 to the negative of our power supply. Okay, so this one, so we're finished with the second line. And then we have to add the 9 and 5 as a holding contact to our PB2. So 9 for the input and then 5 for the output. So 9 for the input and then 5 for the output. Okay. And then let's add this one, the K1 to the 13 and, and then the negative, the K1 to the 14. Okay. So this one to the 13, but I think it would be easier if we connect this one to the PB two out. Okay, since we can connect also this one to the PB two out, and then this one to the 14, the negative to the 14, the 14 is there. So we have to really extend this one. Okay, and then let's connect this one to 14, which is around here, to 14. Okay, and then let's connect the 10 to the 24 volts. Let's say 10 to the 24 volts, or we can connect this one. The 10, we can connect this one to the input of the PB1, to the input of the PB1. So 10, oops, 10 to the input of the PB1. Okay, and then the 2 is connected to the input of the PL2. Okay, 2 is connected to the input of the PL2. And then the out is connected to the negative terminal of our power supply, or we can also connect this one to the out of the PL1 out. Okay, so next, let's go back to the circuit. Okay, zoom out, zoom out. So the, the third rung is already connected. So this one is 10, so 10. So it's the same component. So let's now connect the 6 to the PL3 and then the out. So 6 to the PL3. Okay, so 6 to the input of the PL3. So 6. To the input of the PL3 and then the out is connected to the out of the PL2 since that is connected also in the negative of our power supply. Oops, let's zoom out. Okay, so I think we're done. Let's click the submit button to verify if we got the correct wiring. Okay, so since we got the correct wiring, so the difference is there is a holding contact. So it means if we click this PB2, it will extend. Okay. 
However, if we release this one, it should remain in the extend position. Let's try to release this one. So the cylinder is still in the extend position and then the PL2 is still turning is on. Okay, however, if we stop this one, it should retract. Stop, retract, and then, and then PL2, PB2, extend, and then retract. Okay, so see you in the next lecture.